Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my phone because some of you guys have been asking for it, so I'm just going to show you guys. First, I have the iPhone 14 Pro, I'm pretty sure. I kind of forget. But then this case. I just got this case recently, case if I send it to us, and I'm obsessed with it. It's just so cute. I love the flowers and stuff. And I'm pretty sure my phone is kind of like a yellowish gold. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, I am obsessed with the case at the moment. I love it. Okay, so the screen recording doesn't want to work when I turn on my phone because it'll turn off and the screen recording will stop. So I'm just going to show you guys it from here. Here's my lock screen. It is a bit old. It's from before we went to Summit. And it's a picture cut out of like all of our faces and then our coaches and then a Summit ring. Because it was supposed to give us good luck for Summit. But if you guys saw that video, we still did really good though, but... And then I have that little widget or something, whatever it's called. It's my calendars because for, I'm very forgetful. So I have that there to remind me if I have anything going on that day. I sometimes change my lock screen. It used to be like a bunch of sunset photos that I've taken on like vacation and stuff. But I changed it to that because it reminds me of my old team, which I miss a lot. But onto my actual phone, I have it organized by color, as you guys can see. I don't know why, I just like having it organized, but that's what it looks like. And we'll start off with red slash pink. In this little area, I have YouTube, obviously. We have YouTube and then Lululemon, of course, because I love Lululemon. I actually haven't shopped at Lululemon in like quite a while, but we just have Lululemon in case I do want to shop because I love their sports bras and shorts and tops and stuff. And then we have Photomath. I promise I don't use it that much. I actually do my homework. I actually don't really use that that often. And then we have Touch Up. It's an editing app to like erase things in your photos because I got this when we were in Hawaii because my hair was like blowing everywhere in my photos. So I just wanted to erase that, but I don't really use it that often. And then we have Instagram, of course. I don't really use Instagram that often as you guys can tell because I don't post a lot. I only post like when we're on vacation. I'm just not that type of person. I post on YouTube and TikTok, but Instagram, Instagram's just not really my thing. And then on to yellow slash orange. First we have Snapchat, because I love Snapchat. I used to hate it and never use it, but now I use it because I like using all the filters and stuff when I'm snapping my friends. And then we have notes. That one's a pretty short one. And then on to green, we have FaceTime. I FaceTime my friend a lot. So if you went onto my FaceTime, it'd be like one friend the whole time. I love FaceTiming my friends. And next we have Find My. I never use it. I don't think I've ever used it, but like I'm pretty sure it comes with your phone. So it's just on there. And then we have WhatsApp or what I call it WhatsApp, but I think it's pronounced WhatsApp. We get this for when we go on vacation, like on a cruise or something, or there's certain places when you like travel, you can't use your phone number because it'll cost you money. So we use WhatsApp to like contact each other. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I don't care. I'd rather say what's up than what's app because I feel like that sounds weird. And then we have band. I use that for all my cheer things because that's just how we all contact each other. And I know I'm not going on a lot of these apps, so you're just like seeing it because a lot of these, I if I go on it, you'll see stuff that I don't really want you guys to see, like just bad photos or just personal things. So sorry, I'm not going on all the apps. So you're just like seeing my whole screen. But next we have the game Exposed. I play this with my friends at school sometimes. Don't mind the picture of that. That is a picture I took when I was like, I left to go to a friend's house and I had just like was arguing with Allison. So I texted her, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then she sent me a picture of her with the middle finger. So I had to send her a picture back obviously, but don't mind that picture. So it's a game that you put in the code and you can play with all your friends. And it's just who's most likely to questions. So me and my friends play that sometimes at school. Next thing we have is blue. Also, you guys can see that my phone is running out of battery. That's 17% because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my phone or the charger. My phone does not want to charge. It's like taking forever to charge or it's just not charging at all. I don't really know, but that's why my phone's dying. But moving on to blue, we have the App Store. Of course, just comes with a phone. I don't really use the App Store a lot because I don't know. I don't really download things a lot. But then we have Mail. I'm pretty sure this also comes with your phone. And as you can see, I haven't even set it up, I think. I don't use it, so it's just there. And then we have the weather app to see what the UV is at, to see if I can tan. And also we just, 
I use it a lot when we're going on vacation so I can see what the weather is going to be. And then I have Disney Plus. I used to watch Disney Plus a lot because I was obsessed with this one show and it was only on Disney Plus. But I don't use it a lot anymore. But I just have it just in case. And then I have the Universal app because I went on my grad venture like last Friday to Universal. So I got the app to like just know where we're going, know where everything is. And then I have the Disney World app. Because when we went to Summit, we got free tickets to Disney and I had to get this app to access the tickets and it helped me navigate around the park. And that is all of my blue. Next thing we have is purple. And we have Life360, of course, because my mom loves to track us. I'm just kidding. My mom, though, she makes us have it on. I don't really care about having it on, but then she won't turn hers on. I'm like, mom, turn it on because I think I track my mom more than she tracks me. Because whenever she's out of the house, I just want to see how far away she is, or especially when she's picking me up from school, I want to know how close she is to picking me up. But she's like, no, it takes my battery away. I'm like, I don't care. Turn it on. I need to know where you are. But yeah, that's what we have Life360 for. And then we have podcasts. I don't really know what this is. I think it comes with your phone. I've never used it before. It's just there. And then we have shop. Um, I got this when I was like ordering something and the way to track it was with this app. So I got it for that and I never used it. So I don't really know I have it. Next we have the Canon, what's it called? Mini print. This is, we got this little Canon mini printer sent to us a while back. And I was using it for my Mother's Day gift. You print out photos and they're like stickers. It's actually really, really cool. So I had to get the app for that. Next, we have black. We obviously have TikTok, of course. I don't know what I would do without TikTok. I'm sorry. I would love to say that I don't use social media. Oh, I can't say I don't use social media. My life is basically social media. But TikTok, I don't know. I, whenever I'm bored, all I can do is watch TikTok. It's probably bad the amount of time I spend on TikTok, but it's whatever. We're trying to get better. No, we're not. But we have Spotify next. I don't really use Spotify because I listen to music when I like shower and stuff, but I just listen to music on YouTube. So I've never really used Spotify. Then we have the watch app, of course, because I have my Apple Watch. And then the clock app, of course, to set my alarms that I never use because my mom wakes me up. And then we have wallet for Apple Pay and stuff. And then Apple TV. I don't really know what that is. I think it came with the phone. I've never used it before. Then we have the measuring app, of course. You guys can see the lovely guest room. It's a mess, so we're not gonna show you that. And then voice memos. I have no idea what this is. I honestly can't tell you what it's used for because I don't know what it's used for. Again, I can't tell you what this is used for because I don't know what it is. The stocks. But next we have Netflix, of course. Oh my gosh, you guys can see all the lovely shows that I watch. And as you can tell, I watch a lot of kid shows, cartoons and stuff. But that's just how I am. I don't like scary movies and stuff. And I put like Polly Pocket or Boss Baby on when I fall asleep. Don't judge me. Because I have to listen to something when I'm falling asleep. I can't just fall asleep in the silence. And I prefer to watch kid shows because it makes me feel like I won't have nightmares. And I think it's helped. I, I don't think I've ever had a nightmare, so if you have nightmares, put some Boss Baby on. And then we have the Compass app. Again, um, I don't know what it's used for. Don't really know how to use a compass, but we have that. And then the Fitness app. This is connected to my Apple Watch. You guys can see what workouts I've done. You guys can see I walk quite a lot. I just put it on randomly whenever I'm walking, but I always forget to turn it on, so there's not much on there. And then we have crumble, of course, I love crumble. We actually got crumble cookie this week. We got the chocolate chip, which I don't really like, even though it's just so basic, I don't like it. My favorite was the honey cake. We got that one, and that was my favorite one. We didn't get the chocolate mallow cake because we don't really like that. And then we got the Snickers one. I was super excited for this one, and I surprisingly didn't like it. So I just brought it to my friends at school today. And then the pink sugar one, I used to love it when I first tried crumble. And then they like changed the frosting and it honestly kind of tastes like medicine. I'm sorry if you like that, but that's my opinion. And then the mystery cookie for us, it was cake batter blondie. It was cake batter blondie for a lot of people. And I also did not really like that one. So that's all that I have in black. And then in gray, we have calculator, of course. 
I use this a lot when doing my math homework. This is a necessity. And then contacts. I've never used that, but it just goes into your contacts for your phone, obviously. But I never knew that until now. So yeah, the more you know. Then we have settings, of course. And then lastly, we have camera, of course. Again, I'm not going to open that so you guys don't see the messy room or me because it's a very bad angle. Next, we have white. The first thing we have is my Oculus app. I haven't used my Oculus in forever and I keep wanting to play it on my Oculus, but I just keep forgetting to. And I I think it's in my closet. I don't really know. And I need to charge it. I want to start playing it again because it's a lot of fun. I like Beat Saber or Job Simulator. Those are my favorite games. And then we have Chrome, Google Chrome. I literally never use this. I just don't like the setup and stuff for Google. I just use Safari because I like it better. Then we have Files. This is just like all the downloads that I've had. I've never opened that app before. And then Maps, again, I've never opened that before. And then we have Reminders. I don't use this app like ever. The one time I used it was to remind myself to text my mom to get crumble cookies. I just never really use it because, I don't know, I probably should use it because I always forget to do stuff. Then we have my calendar, of course. I've actually been marking stuff, like things that I need to do on my calendar, which is good because I'm getting trying to get better being organized and stuff. And then we have the news app, of course. Never look at this. Then we have my health app. Never use this app either. I have a lot of apps on here that I never use. I use the same apps all the time. TikTok. Snapchat, messages, settings, that's kind of it. And then we have my email, of course. Get a lot of those, as you can see, 1,000. I don't know how to get rid of that, so just at that. And then we have photos, which we're not going to go in there because I have a lot of great photos of my friends that you're not going to be able to see. And then Amazon, love Amazon. And then Fetch Rewards, of course. Again, I love Fetch Rewards. My code will be on the screen if you guys want to use it. I've gotten... A lot of things using Fetch Rewards, you guys should definitely get it. It's a lifesaver for saving money. And then last little cube thingy is my games. I used to have a lot more games, but I deleted them to help my storage because I was running out of storage, so I had to delete some games. But first we have Subway Surfers, which I never play. It's just on here for in case I don't have internet or something, I'll play that. Color Hole. Like, I don't really play that many games. I only really play games when I don't have like internet or something. Oh, I already died. Yeah, that's Color Hole. And then Element Flow. This is one of the games that I play more often. You have to like put the things together to make it. And then we have Stumble Guys. I like this game, but I don't really play it a lot because I'm not the best at it. I've gotten better though. And then Water Sword. This is one of the games that I play more often, but I haven't played lately because I haven't been able to get past this level, so I just haven't been playing it. And then Color Fill 3D. I used to, I used to like this game a lot, but I don't really play it anymore. Then we have Pull the Pin. This game's honestly, it's fun at first, but then it kind of gets boring, so I haven't played this one a lot either. And then ASMR Breakfast. This one's a bit weird, but I honestly kind of like it. You just make your breakfast. I don't play this one a lot, but this is, if I was bored, this is definitely one of the games I would play. And then Spiral Roll. I, again, don't play this game a lot. I could probably delete a lot of these games, but I don't because I think to myself, what if I do want to play it one day? Next, we have Hole.io. This is one of the games that I actually like a lot. And then Roblox. I was obsessed with Roblox in fifth grade. And I don't ever play it anymore. I only ever play it when my cousin Brian comes over. I call him Poopy. I always play with him, so that's why I have Roblox on my phone. And then Helix Jump. This is one of the games that I actually play when I don't have internet. This is like the first game I go to. When we were on our way to, I don't remember where it was, but I was playing this game the whole flight because I just didn't have anything to do. I was listening to music and playing this game the whole entire flight. And then lastly, we have Among Us. I never play it. I downloaded it the other day because me and my friends were all going to play, but then it didn't end up working. So I downloaded it for no reason, and it's just been there. And then on the bottom of my phone, we obviously have the Call app, Safari. The, I don't know why we have Apple Music down here because I never use it. And then we have text messages, of course. So yeah, that is what's on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found my phone very interesting because it's not very interesting at all. It's just basic apps. But yeah, that's what's on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.